Let's go ahead for current maths. Today we're going to be looking at the gradient of a straight line for higher maths. Essentially, we're going to be looking at how we can work out the gradient given the angle that a line makes with the x-axis and the positive direction of the x-axis as definition. So let's have a quick look at this. If I draw a straight line and call it x1, y1, one point, x2, y2 is another point, then clearly the horizontal is x2 minus x1 and the vertical would be y2 minus y1. So that's where the gradient formula comes from. Vertical over horizontal is defined as the gradient or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But from our basic definition of the tan of an angle, if I define this angle as some angle called theta, the tan is the opposite over the adjacent. Well, opposite over adjacent would be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is still the same formula for the gradient. So that means that the gradient must be equal to the tan of the angle or tan theta. So that, that's exactly what our standard thing is for higher maths. We given the angle theta, the gradient is tan theta. Now this theta is this direction with the x-axis, we call that the positive direction. So it's not the angle over this side, it is the angle this side. The angle it makes with the positive direction of the x-axis. And you can work that out from either the x-axis itself or draw any horizontal line and it'll give you the same angle in there. Okay. Okay, example one says calculate the gradient of a straight line shown in this diagram. So we've got a simple diagram, a straight line, and we've got an angle of 32 degrees and we have to calculate the gradient. So we should be able to write away, write down that the gradient equals the tan of the angle. So that's equal to the tan of... 32 degrees. So we'll need to get a calculator and work that out. So our calculator tells us that the tan of 32 degrees is 0 0.625 to three decimal places. So our gradient is 0 0.625 to three decimal places. Example two says, find the angle that the line P minus two minus two and Q17 makes with the positive direction of the x-axis. What's it asking as well? If we draw ourselves a little picture, there's an x and y axis roughly. And we've got some line with two coordinates, a p and a q. And it's asking us, what is this angle in here? Let's call that theta. So we already know that tan theta equals the gradient. So if we can find the gradient, we can work backwards to find the, the angle by using the inverse tan. So from our definition of gradient, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If we call that x1 and y1, this one would be x2 and y2. Watching our negatives here, that gives us 7 minus negative 2 on the top and 1 minus negative 2 on the bottom. That's 9 over 3, which is just 3 in total. So we now know that the tan of our angle is equal to the number 3. So we can use a calculator to do the inverse tan. So theta is the inverse tan of the number 3 in degrees is 71.6 degrees. To three significant figures. Example 3 says the line AB makes an angle of 60 degrees with the y-axis. Find the exact value of the gradient AB. So we've got a picture here again where the angle is the y-axis. Now that's not the gradient. Remember, gradient is the angle it makes with the x-axis. So I need to draw myself a little diagram here. If I draw a horizontal line, that's our feet in here. This angle, well, it's going to be 90 minus 60. That's going to be 30 degrees. We have to first work that out. We now know that since the gradient equals the tan of the angle feet, then our gradient is equal to the tan of 30 degrees and not the tan of 60 degrees. The tan of 30 degrees is an exact value that is 1 over root 3. So our gradient is just 1 over the square root of 3 as an exact value. Quite often with this type of work at higher maths, you will have to use exact values, those being 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees for tan. So make sure you know your exact values. Example 4 says find the size of angle theta shown in this diagram. And we have got the diagram here where theta again is on the y-axis. So it's a bit of a trick. But we can work out some other angle and it adds up to 90. So if I draw that in here, if I just draw a horizontal line across here, as best I can. We know that we can work out this angle here. Let's call it alpha. 
and we would know that the tan of alpha in this case would be equal to 5 to the number 5. And then we can work out alpha, that is the inverse tan of 5, and that would equal 78.7 degrees. So since we know that that's 78.7, then theta must be 90 minus 78.7, which is 11.3 degrees. So just watch out for what angle they're giving you, what angle they're trying to make you work out. Okay, a little past paper question that actually uses this with some of the stuff that we've already learned so far. So 2015 paper one question nine says, ABC are points such that AB is parallel with the wing with equation this and BC makes an angle of 150 degrees with a positive direction of the x-axis. Is it collinear or not? So it's a collinear question, but it's using this idea that the tan of an angle makes the gradient. So that's the first thing. We need to work out our gradient. So let's look at the first line. We've got y plus root 3x equals 0. If they're collinear, the gradients of any bits will be the same. So rearranging this, y is minus root 3x. The gradient of this part, AB, is equal to minus root 3. We've done the first part, we know our first gradient. The second part says, and BC makes an angle of 150 degrees. So looking at the gradient of BC, we've got the tan of 150 degrees is equal to our gradient. Now, 150 degrees is not an exact value, but it is related to an exact value. So if we draw a cast diagram, then that's 180 minus 180 plus our angle and 360 minus. If we look at this one here, 180 minus 150 is 30, so it's related in that point. So if we work out the tan of 30, well the tan of 30 degrees is an exact value, 1 over root 3. So that means that because of the relatedness angle, if it was in this quadrant, 180 minus 150, would be 30. The tan here is negative, so the tan of 150 degrees is minus 1 over root 3. We've now worked out our gradients. We know the gradient of the bit AB is minus root 3, and the gradient of 150 degrees is minus 1 over root 3. So these are not parallel lines because they are not got the same gradient. So we could just write a little statement. The gradient of AB does not equal the gradient of BC, therefore the lines are not parallel and therefore not collinear. And we're done there. This has been Claire Maths. Today we've been looking at the gradient from an angle, working out that we can work at the gradient given the tan of an angle. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.